Should you cover your audio inputs? Well, kind of sounds like, should you cover your mouth when you cough? <laughs> Please. Okay, this question about audio inputs, not coughing, comes from Steve in Ambler, Pennsylvania. Steve writes, I've seen recently that many audiophiles are blanking off any unused outputs on, on their amplifiers and preamplifiers, saying that this improves the sound. Have you any experience of this? Hopefully have I explained it properly. Well, I think you meant inputs, but maybe you meant outputs. Um, I hope you meant inputs. So here's, here's, like here's a BHK preamp, right? And you can see on the back that there are a ton of inputs. There's, well, these are a few of the, these are outputs, but everything else is an input. So what does it mean? Well, audiophiles like to tidy things up if you will. So let's say I've got two source, two things. I've got a DAC plugged in here. I've got maybe a Stellar Phono plugged into the other one. And then these two or three extra inputs are left open. They're, they're unused, right? So you can buy what we call shorting plugs, little RCA plugs that plug in here and here with a cap on the end of them that shorts out the ground, which is the outside of this connector, to the inside uh, pin, which is the hot, which is the actual signal. So we short the signal to the ground to lower noise. Now, we, we use shorting plugs here all the time because when we're measuring a piece of equipment and for noise, will want to short out the inputs so it's not picking up any crap, right? And the difference between measuring noise with the input shorted or unshorted is, is a number of dB. I mean, it's clearly visible on the audio precision test equipment or on a scope, real easy. You, you always want to use shorting plugs when you're trying to measure the actual noise from a circuit without adding something to the input, okay? And so that's sort of the idea of what people do. Now, you know, um, Steve had written on the outputs, don't do that on your output. I, I assume Steve just meant the inputs since, yeah, anyway. The outputs are actually have, have a signal on it and they do not like to be shorted. So don't short the outputs, definitely a no-no. You could damage your equipment and you certainly won't do it any good, okay? You, you're just gonna strain it. Inputs, yeah, I mean, Here's the thing, the way this works, picture a switch, okay? And so we, well, what's the best way I can describe this? Here's, I'm, I'm showing my fingers extended. And let's say of my five fingers on here, each one is an input, okay? So I got five inputs, five fingers, five inputs. This switch is the one on the front panel or on my remote control that is connecting up one of these inputs to listen to. I can only listen to one input at a time. So when the switch connects up here to this finger, my middle finger, representing input number one, two, three, okay? Here's input three. Now the switch is connected. My preamp is connected to input three. These other inputs with stuff uh, well, with nothing, they're, they're just sitting on the switch. And whatever noise is on them is not really getting in here. Uh, it, I mean, a lot of it depends on how the switch is designed. Like we use relays, a lot of people use relays. And so, yeah, I bet if you, if you shorted this out or you didn't and you looked very carefully at the noise, you might see a little bit of difference. I think it's more myth and stuff people just do. I don't do it. It's, I, well, as, as I've said many times, I'm a lazy audiophile. I, I just do the big things that work and the little things that maybe help out, eh, too much trouble. So that's what it's all about. That's why people do it. And a lot of people swear by it. Now here's where I'll draw the line. This is where I draw the line. This is what this is something that drives me nuts about our our, our wacky sport of, of high-end audio. 
I have people tell me that the quality of the shorting plug, if it's made out of rhodium or it's gold plated or it's nickel plated, makes a difference. Bullshit. Nah. Not happening. I ain't buying it. Sorry. Not going there. Okay. Don't, don't come at me with that. I mean, look, materials, yeah, they make a difference in, in the connectivity and the, in the wire. Uh, that I'll buy. I've heard the difference, but don't tell me that a shorting plug made out of rhodium is going to do any better to short that input signal than, you know, I just, I'm not buying it. I know, I know. Okay. End of rant. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.